Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be doing a quick overview of Pixlide, and I'll also be discussing an awesome giveaway that I'm going to be running for three of their pro licenses. So let's dive in. Now, Pixlide is currently running as a promo on AppSumo with a lifetime deal. You can see it has almost a perfect five star rating. It's actually 4.95 out of 5 with 312 reviews right now. So that is crazy. It's about as good as you're going to see on AppSumo. And it's actually $49 for this lifetime deal. And if you want to pick it up through my link below, I'm going to have a pop up on the screen and in the description below. And it's wpwithtom.com slash pixelide. So here you can actually watch a video about some of the things and features it has. And you can see down here what it includes in the single plan that I'm going to be giving away later in the video here. And it includes all these things right here. You can review different things out here, such as questions and reviews and see what people have to say about it. And if it's your first time actually buying and you use my link, you'll get 10% off of your purchase if it's your first one. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm actually going to go right into some of the features here that it has. So on their site right here, you can see that it has ready-made templates stock images, a background remover, premium icons, illustrations, mockups, workspaces, vector uploads, which is pretty nice, and an advanced editor. So I'm going to actually go into this a little bit more. So now let's just go and dive into the tool itself and see how it works. So I'm actually already logged into my account here and you can see right up at the top it has home, templates, my designs, workspaces, a background remover, and illustrations so over here if you wanted to create a new design you can go right here and it has width and height you can input this and start creating the perfect design size and the perfect layout size that you need for the image that you're creating and then if you were to go over here and click on this you can actually see they have all these different preset designs for various social media sizes that you might need so i'm actually going to go through the process of making this thumbnail for this video in this video itself so it's kind of weird but i'm going to go through that process and go through how to actually use the editor a little bit and then show you the background remover so if you wanted to scroll down you can get an idea of what some of these templates will look like for various different sizes and different social media outlets there so i'm going to just go back up to the top and we'll dive in by using a preset design on a YouTube thumbnail. So if I click on that, you can see that we have these different thumbnails. Now, if you only have the free version, you're not going to have access to these ones with this crown. This is for pro users only, but you will have access to these ones without the crown like this. So there's a lot of nice ones in here. And if you think about it, these are really fun and easy to make when you have these layouts like this. So you have a variety of options here and it's just really cool overall. So this one actually looks kind of like something that I might make for my channel and it kind of fits what I've made before. So I'm going to click on that and get started editing. So over here on the left side, we have a bunch of different options. We have images. If you want to click on different images and you can search, it says images provided by Unsplash and Unsplash has free to use images if you don't know. And then over here, you can toggle over to Pixabay, which also has free images as well. And you can search the images and then click on it and it will upload it right to the picture. So if I do that, I click on this one. There it is right on the picture. And I can choose the different layers if I want it to be in the front or back. So let's just say I want to move it to the front and I bring it forward all the way. I just go like that. And then if I want to delete it, I can delete it here. I can go and drag it and resize it over here. So now this image takes up basically the whole screen you can see the whole canvas here is now taken up with the image when i do that i'm going to go and just delete it right here but i just want to show you that's how you'd add an image you can do the same for text and add various types of text and a lot of different styling a lot of them don't come like this out of the box so it's pretty nice to see and then i'm going to go over here and we'll go to illustrations there's tons of different illustrations you can add here and play around with it as well there's mock-ups here as well, so you can see what it would look like on various types of computers or tablets or smartphones, whatever it might look like. So you get an idea with this nice mock-up, and you can use that to show people your designs. I know people show mock-up designs of logos and websites a lot of times by showing it what it would look like on the actual device. So here's elements, a bunch of different shapes and styles here that you can use. There's icons over here. 
This is great for adding social media icons, as you see here, and having a lot of other ones as well. You can see down here there's some brand-related ones, different options down there. There's a lot of different options. You can see blend, so you can change the overall palette or look of the site itself or the actual image itself. And if I were to go down to My Files, I actually already uploaded a file, but you can upload your own files there if you want to use them within these images. So I'm actually going to go right here and I'll click on this image of this guy right here. You can maneuver it around if you want. I'm actually going to click on it and delete it out of here. And then I'm going to click on my own image that I uploaded. It shows up very large right at the start here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and select this image and I will then resize it. So I'm going to bring it over here, grab the corner and resize it, make it much smaller than it was. And then you have different options. So if we went up here, to this part we can go to flip and if I want to flip it now my guy is pointing to the image itself I can make him a little larger if I want and I think that looks pretty good overall so you might want to play around with that you can literally click hold drag it and move it around on here if you want and then I'm going to go up here and I'll drag this bubble or whatever you want to call this this blob over I'm going to go and delete this right here and I'm just going to call this one Pixelide uh, Review Plus, and then I'm also going to go right here, and you can actually go and duplicate it. So if you wanted to, you can go right up here, duplicate, and now you can go and drag this down as well. So I'm going to go and delete this YouTube right here, and you can use delete, or you can actually go and click delete up here with this trash can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this text over here to the left. So we have text right here, Pixlide, Review, Plus, and I'm going to say Giveaway right here. So I'm just going to type in Giveaway. And now we have this in here. So if you want to make it bigger, you can go and change the text right here and use these preset sizes. Or you can go and actually click, hold, and drag it and make it larger. So I'm going to go and do that for each of these. I'm going to make it larger. I'll just show you what it looks like with the pre-made one. So you can see if you click on this, this is 150 and this one is 144. You can actually go up here and type 150 in and hit enter if you want. And then I'll just go right here and I'll also make this one 150. So they're all nice and even. So here I go and I'll drag it over. And I'm just going to make sure it looks decent. It's not going to be perfect probably, but you can play around with it as much as you need to get it looking the way you want. And now it just says pick slide, review, and giveaway. I'm going to actually go and move this up a tiny bit. And then I'm going to click on my guy here. And with the layers, you can actually bring him forward. So now my hand is going to be in front of the bubble rather than behind it. So if you see, if we have right back here, send backward, it's behind the bubble. I'm going to bring it to the front. It's very easy to do. And you can play around with this and make some really quick, nice YouTube thumbnails or other images for other social media platforms. So now that I'm happy with how this looks, I'm going to go and click download right here. And you have different options. I'm going to make the quality 100. You can choose different formats. So JPEG, PNG, PNG transparent if you want a transparent background for your image. SVG, which is in beta. WebP and a WebP transparent, which is great for loading quick on websites. You can also choose the size and change that as needed. I'm just going to download it as is. So you can actually go and change the title up here. I forgot to say that, so my title is going to be off on this one, but I would change it anyway for the YouTube thumbnail. So after you've actually done that, I'm going to go and show you another thing that you can do. So if we went over here, let's just go and I'm going to type in puppy, and I'm going to find an image where we can remove the background for a puppy. So right here, this one is probably pretty good for removing the background of this image, and you can go and actually make it larger if you want, but I'm going to go and I'm actually going to go and click background, remove, and then it's just going to take a moment to remove this background. Now I should say that over here, if we look at the plan for pick slide over here, we can see that it says bonus five background removal credits per month per code. So you're only going to get five of them if you only use one code right here. 10 for this, 15, and then you can buy more codes if you want and have more workplaces and have more team members. But I'm only going to get five per month. So I'm using one of them right now on this, and it's going to remove this background. So there you go. You can see it removed the grass out of this background. If I were to resize it, 
it doesn't really go with this giveaway that I have here, but you can see that there's the background without any, there's the image without any background. So you can go and resize it and put it on your image pretty easily. It's great AI technology that I have built into this app. And I think it's only going to improve as they continue to work on improving this app over time. So I'm going to go and just click delete here. And I really just wanted to show you how easy it is to use that tool and how easy it is to make a quick image, especially for these social media type images with their pre-made templates here. So for those of you that actually don't want to just purchase it outright right away and you want to try to win it in the giveaway, you can go over to WPWithTom.com and right here I'll have the Pixlide giveaway. Now I will say it's not live right now when I'm recording this, but it will be live and it will actually end on January 10th at 1145 Eastern Time. So just know that I'll probably announce or actually send out the emails to the winners on January 11th. So just be aware of that. So if you want to enter, you have up until January 10th to get your entries in and you can enter each day if you want. So check that out if you're interested in trying to win this free giveaway here for Pixlide. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and learned the basics of how to use it. I'm still new to it myself, but it's actually pretty easy to learn once you play around with it for a few minutes. So that about wraps up this video on Pixlide. I hope you check it out for yourself on AppSumo with my link wpwithtom.com slash Pixlide or that you join the giveaway contest. And if you do, I wish you the best of luck. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.